Hi, welcome to my channel, the ABC Homeschool Family. My name is Amy, and today I wanted to show you about what we keep in our nature backpack. Our, this is the first year that we're doing a nature journaling backpack. Uh, we go out in nature a lot, sometimes we draw what we see, but this is the first time I've really uh, decided to get watercolors and pencils and things to bring with us. So, let me show you what we have. I keep everything in this big backpack. I uh, actually brought it, bought it for something else, but it worked, so I just threw everything in there. I got each of my girls one of these notebooks. They are made for watercolor, and there's 30 sheets in each one. So, oh, this one's mine. So, this is a flower I drew. I'm not the best artist. <laughs> Some trees. So, each of my girls and I have one of these, and we had a couple extras as well. My son, Holden, he is only two, so I just went ahead and let him use this chunky pad that we just have laying around because he doesn't really care too much right now anyway. The next thing I got was uh, this tin of pencils. I got the prism color pencils. It was a whole little kit. It comes with uh, seven drawing pencils. Woodless graphite pencils, water soluble graphite pencils, two erasers, a steel sharpener, and a sanding board. If you know what a sanding board is for, let me know. I've been meaning to Google that and I keep forgetting. So, this is everything that comes in it, plus this uh, little putty eraser. These are the most fun. Um, so, that's everything in our little pencil kit. Then it was suggested by another YouTuber that you bring along pens that can write on water. So I went ahead and got some fine point Sharpies that are non-water soluble. So if my children want to add um, some extra detailing, they can do that with these pens and it won't leak into the watercolor. Then I went ahead and ordered some of these watercolor paint brushes. So you fill them up with water and then... Uh, the the tip of the paintbrush gets wet and you're able to to use it to watercolor with the different watercolors. I thought those were pretty neat, easy to take along because you don't want to have to bring a glass of water with you to dip your pen in, to dip your paintbrush in while you're out in the nature. So those pens and this one that came with this we use with these watercolors. These uh, I found on Amazon and you just slide it open and there's all these different colors for them to use. I could really like this. I think it's so pretty. And it's very compact and easy to bring along with us. I also bought these watercolor pens. It's a box of 24. There was bigger boxes, but I thought 24 was good to start and we see how we liked it. So these pens, work just like regular pens except they have a paintbrush tip so that it looks more like watercolor when you are using them. And let's see what else did I get? I think that's about it. Oh I got an electric pencil sharpener because I have six children and I didn't want to be sitting there sharpening pencils the entire time we were doing nature study. So that's quick and easy. And then I got this pocket microscope. I had a friend of mine suggest uh, last year that I buy a pocket microscope. And so I finally checked one out. And they're pretty neat. You just set it on what you want to look at. You go ahead and look in the top. And you can see in pretty good magnification different things. My girls have had fun looking at leaves. We found a dead butterfly and looked at its um, wings. And we looked at different plants. We've been able to see the tiny grains of pollen on the plants. It's really cool. And we've had a lot of fun with that. I think I might have had more fun than the children. And in the car, I also keep my pair of binoculars. And we always have my phone to take pictures with. The only other thing that I would like to add to this would be um, a Fujimax or an Instamax camera that prints out photos right away. I just think that would be really cool for my children who don't feel like confident in drawing, that they would be able to paste those in their nature books and maybe copy them. Maybe be easier for them. Um, not really anything else I can think of. You know, I probably should throw some plain paper in because my children love to do rubbings. So I should have that on hand for them. 
Um, but I can't really think of anything else right now. We'll see as the year goes on if we feel like we're lacking something. And if you any, have any suggestions for things that you have added to your nature walk or your nature journaling, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope that you found this video interesting. If you did, give it a like. Thank you. Goodbye.